It is a sunny day here on the far east side of Indianapolis, and we're here at Pleasant Run Elementary, right in the heart of Warren Township. Welcome back to Inside Warren as we take a look at the many construction projects throughout the district. Our goal is to maintain financial stability while investing in efficiencies as well as environment. We are so glad to be back for the 2022-23 school year and we're going to catch up with all the cool things that have happened over the summer and we're going to start right here at Pleasant Run Elementary. There's a lot going on right now here inside Pleasant Run but we just want to start off today and really highlight the, the brand new main office. As you can see much more space than we had previously here and again it's still in progress in terms of just some of the construction, the furniture ar arriving. But as you can see, we have our temporary workstation set up here, a lot of natural light. And if you follow me, right off the main office, you have Mr. Coomler's new office space, which is very compatible, fits the needs of what elementary principal needs in terms of his own workspace, as well as a meeting area here. Again, additional meeting space that still needs to be furnished. But again, much more space than what they had before. And then connected here is Assistant Principal Courtney Smith, her office again. They've been in this space less than two weeks and with school starting, it's been really challenging for them not only to manage um, school with all the different projects going on, and I, I have to salute them for that, but also it's just been a challenge for them personally getting moved into their actual space because there's so much going on. Okay, we are here at Lowell Elementary School where it all started, and I'm proud to say that we are 99% complete through this project, uh, just a few days left on it. And as you can see here, we are standing in front of the official placard that shows the renovation of Lowell Elementary with our board members listed here, our superintendent, our mighty leader and principal, Kim Griffin, as well as our architects and our construction managers from Skillman. This is important to note because there are two other plaques here in the entryway at Lowell. The first one being from 1964. That was actually, actually the first renovation. And then the last one was in 1986. So these are always great historical footnotes to take a look at. But as we wrap up this project, we are back here with just in case people don't know, you can introduce yourself again. It's Phil Barshevsky. Okay. Phil, starting off here in the entryway, there is a, a much needed security feature. Um, in other words, if you're a, a visitor to um, Lowell Elementary, you're going to have to take certain uh, steps in order to, to have access to the office, to have access to the school. So if we can kind of start with that. Yeah. So the biggest feature is they have to get buzzed in from the outside doors. They get buzzed into the waiting room. And then if they're cleared, and if they can go in the school, they get buzzed out into the school. So that is all controlled by the receptionist. Two of them have two sets of buttons that control all that. So let's, so when you say that, first they come through the main doors here, and then they also have to get buzzed into a second door, which is here, right? Correct. Okay, so, all right, let's take a look at this space here. And I know two people that are probably the most excited about this change because they have definitely braved the elements from the first time I came here last year. I think we had them set up on um, a little booth area and they had to brave the cold weather from the winters and then the hot temperatures, but we have Miss Kathy and Miss Jenny. Correct. So ladies, talk about this new space. Um, how has it allowed you to um, really maximize what you can do in terms of your job performance. I like best is when we used to have people come into the building, they were right in the building. Like you let them in and they had access to the whole building. 
now we have two different layers here and then before we allow a student to go we have to let them in that way as well so just the security of knowing that people they have to have checkpoints before they go any further absolutely we want to protect them okay we're on the other side now of what used to be the old gym we just saw the art room now we are in the brand new music room we have our teacher here from Lowell Elementary, Tracy Strelak. Got it. Thank you. All right. So Tracy, if you could explain to our, our viewers just the, the impact that this new space has had on your instruction and ability to uh, make connections with kids. Oh, it's, it's been great. It's a wonderful space. We have plenty of areas for instrument playing, for movement, for anything we're going to do, our rhythm activities. It's great to have this nice open space. Um, usually I have been in small tight spaces most of my career so to have all this has been wonderful. So many activities that we can do and experience in music now. And what type of response have you received from your students? So far it's been positive. They love it. They have all kinds of questions about my sound, my sound tiles and the acoustic tiles up there. So it's been a lot of fun trying to explain that to, you know, kindergartners and second graders. And <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's been great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I know when I walk in here, it makes me feel like, like I can perform, I could sing, because I used to be. I, I know it's it's kind I of funny, it. but no, I did. I, I used to be a backup singer in oh, the nice. group Bell Biv DeVoe, uh, BBD back in the day. Um, well, if come you, on in and help us out. Well, let's go over to the piano. Let's let's sing a tune. All Can right. we do that? Sure. All right. Let's, uh -oh. go, let's uh -oh. go do that. Well, we just just go ahead and play with as if I'm a student. What what are they learning right now? Well, right now we're working mainly on rhythm. Okay. Not a whole lot. Well, of I got rhythm. You got rhythm. I got rhythm. Well, you got that. You got some rhythm. I do. How, how see about that? I give you a little chord structure? Okay. Let's you see. Give it. me a little improv improvisation. <clears throat> yes. Yes. All right. Is that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Why that, not? Yeah. You have the words to this? <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, improvise? Okay, all right. Like a dime, we gotta get on the rhythm. Right. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I mean, beautiful. All right, well, you You're know. hired. Yes, I appreciate it. So if you ever need a sub. Uh, I got it. I got it? I got it. Okay, we love this new space. Okay, we are here at Hawthorne Elementary School here in Warren Township. And soon Hawthorne will be under major renovation, major construction just like our other elementary schools throughout the district, and it's going to get transformed, and this educational space will be unbelievable. But today is a special day because this is our first supplier diversity outreach event. So if you look over my shoulder, you will see several representatives from different uh, minority groups, businesses, contractors, uh, learning about the process, so when it comes to the actual bid day, which is coming up here soon, they'll understand exactly what to expect, make sure they have the proper paperwork filled out. And this is very consistent with just our value as a district when it comes to providing opportunities to, to everyone. And this even involves construction. So um, step in and take a look at our supplier diversity event. So if you can introduce yourself, sir. Mel Abdullah, CNA contractor. Okay. Corey Crunchy. All right. So, gentlemen, if you can kind of explain to everyone out there just how, how do programs like this, um, this supplier diversity outreach, how does that benefit your, your business? Uh, well, that's huge because us being a small company, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, it's a huge market. We're into roofing, and you know, there's a lot of big dogs out here that get all the work. So, for us to have this type of opportunity, that gives us a little leeway to at least possibly get big jobs. And when you talk about there are, you know, select companies out there that have a chance to get all the, the business, when you 
were able to get information from programs like this, how does this, this give you an edge? I wouldn't say that's it gives us an edge, but it, it gives us the possibility of opportunity. Again, we want to thank everyone that was involved in our first Supplier Diversity event. Looking forward to the next one on August 24th. Here, for the first time, we introduce to you Warren Online Academy, the home of the Trailblazers. And we're going to have an opportunity to meet with their director, Michelle Eden, so we can see how this space has been resuscitated and renovated and is now ready to bring you an online experience that you've never seen before. But now it's time to meet with the director of Warren Online Academy, Miss Michelle Eaton. <laughs> Michelle, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Welcome to Inside Warren. And we wanted to learn about Warren Online Academy. If you could tell us a little bit about the Academy and then we'll talk about this brand new space you have. Uh, well, Warren Online Academy is a K-12 online and hybrid school. We have a mix of asynchronous and synchronous instruction. Um, some of our high schoolers come in a couple half days a week to get some additional support. We have lots of opportunities here in the building for in-person events, but uh, most of our students work remotely while our teachers work here. Okay, right. This is this one class. of our high school rooms. This is one of our math classrooms. So as you can see, we've tried to create a space that wow. is flexible, um, inviting, comfortable. So the students come in here and they get some additional support and have a chance to work with their peers as well. Did you pick this furniture up? I did. You did. Shout out to Ruth Nelson. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. This is definitely a classroom uh, in 2022. Absolutely. Right? So overall, as you look at the last couple years, um, and I mentioned before, this is the new building for, and the new home for Warren Online Academy. Just talk about what this new space allows you to, to do as it relates to the resources, the, the interaction, and then just the delivery of, of curriculum to our students. Well, we think that even for an online school, it's important to have a physical space and being able to have a place where we can invite our families and our communities and our students in is really helpful. And even though our students are online, that doesn't mean they're in front of a computer all of the time. So one of the things that this space has given us is a little bit of extra room. Uh, we're setting up a flexible learning space that's just open for students all of the time. So as we bring in students for one-on-one -on -one tutoring or for small group instruction, or maybe for one of our pop-up events that we're gonna be starting next month where whole grade levels can come in for an art project or a science lab or some uh, hands-on activity aligned to the curriculum, uh, we have a space that's inviting for them to work as well. You heard that. If you're thinking online, you better choose the Trailblazers. That's right. Warren Online Academy. We want to thank our super director here, Michelle <laughs> Eden, and the best days are ahead for WOA. That's right.